Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Texan DR910. This is an AM FM shortwave portable radio. You can get this radio for a total of $20 from Amazon at this time. Comes in this box, Texan DR910, bunch of Chinese writing. The radio there, you notice there's Chinese writing on the radio and I'll decode that for you. More writing here, a little bit of a frequency guide there, we'll go over that, show that on the radio. And the back here, more Chinese writing, got some symbols here, if that means anything to you. There you go. Okay, let's open this up, see what we get inside the box. I'm going to pull this and set it to the side, and I'll show you what we get. Okay, there we are. So when you buy this radio, You'll be buying it from Cato out of California, which is nice. They are Texan dealers, and they include an English manual. So as you saw there, you get a Cato warranty, I think is one year. Send this in. It's really nice because if you have an issue with the radio, you just call them up, they'll answer the phone, and get your new radio. Okay. Next we have the manual, which is very important because it decodes the Chinese writing, so you know what the buttons do. I'll go over them too, but uh, yeah, without this, I'd be kind of guessing a little bit. I mean, I'd figure it out eventually, um, <laughs> but uh, it's nice having this pretty basic English manual. I mean, it's just a simple radio, pretty easy to figure out, but there you are. Okay. Um, neat little feature they give you. Headphones, okay. So these look like. I have my own pair. These are Texan branded. They look like they're the hard style. There's no little foam cups or rubber cups, so these are kind of... Uh, not so easy on the ears, but they give you a pair, which is nice, and a 90 degree angle plug. Good deal. Next, I notice, which is really nice, is they give you an extending wire for your shortwave. So you clip this to the antenna mast, and you unwind this and hang it in your blinds or hang it outside. You clip this to a tree limb or an area where you can clip to. I clip this to the top of my blinds inside the house here. I have the exact same wire hooked up. So we'll be able to see what this can do in shortwave inside the house. So there you go. I think it's branded too. Yep, branded. Okay, so there's, that's, I think it's about 12 to 15 foot wire. Nice to see that. Here we got the radio. Comes a nice little brown pouch. Texan labeled again. Um, nice. Again, this radio is 20 bucks, which is a, a pretty good deal for what you get. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. There we go. Uh, comes a little sleeve here. Get that out. That's stuff everywhere. They give you a lot of goodies. Okay, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. Probably zoom it back out for size comparison. But let's go talk about dimensions first. Um, we're 4 and 5 eighths of an inch across, 3 inches tall, and a case depth of 1 inch. For size comparison, I brought a couple radios. I got a CC Pocket here. Just to give you an idea how big these radios are together. Okay. Um, I also brought out its big brother. Bring this up a little bit. You can kind of see side by side. Now this radio here is a great radio also, and there's a reason why I like both these models, and we'll explain it as we go. This is the Texan DR920C. Um, it's got a little bit bigger speaker. For not much a bigger size, just slightly larger there. You get a looks like a normal tuning knob here. A little longer antenna, so there you go. It's the 920C. And then we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. <clears throat> yes, he can do it like no one can. <laughs> yes, he has the theme song that always appears when he shows up in my videos. <laughs> but there's a deck of cards. Awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throat is scratchy tonight. Okay, must be the pollen in there. Okay, so here we go with the Texan. Let's talk about features of DR910. Left hand side here we have the volume control, headphone jack. Now the headphone jack's interesting. Uh, it's not stereo, but it sounds halfway decent. It has a little low level hiss, but not too bad. FM has a little bit of bass to it, which is nice. Good mid-range. Um, voice on AM, medium wave, short wave, sounds very good. 
Um, it's a little muddy, a little lower, but it's not too bad. Easy to listen to, which I like. I actually kind of like that when it's a little muddy on shortwave because you don't get the sharpness of the static as it goes back and forth uh, reception-wise. We have a DC input, which I find very cool. Um, there you go, DC input, 3 volts. Uh, looks like center negative, outside positive. Carrying strap there, cool. Here we got Texan, kind of uh, raised up in the plastic there. Model number, DR910. A little speaker here. The speaker is rather tinny, but not too bad. I've had radios have tinnier speakers than this one, but it's not too bad. But it's not something you'd want to turn up too loud. Um, it's about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Here we have our digital frequency counter and clock display, it says. So yes, you'll have a clock plus your frequency counter, which is nice. The um, neat thing about it is that it's an analog radio with a digital counter. It's amazing. I love that. Digital world receiver. Now here's our buttons. You can see they're in Chinese, but I'll decode them. This little button here is hour. This little button here is minute. So you can set your hour and minute on your alarm and your time. Below it, we have light. Press this button and a little yellow light comes on the side. Really nice. Again, a little radio like this, 20 bucks. You got a digital clock with a light at night. And you can look at your frequency too at night. Lovely. Over here, we have, this is the alarm on off feature. Hit this, turns the alarm on. And it wakes up to radio. So you set your station your volume level, and you turn on the alarm, and it will wake up to the radio, which is nice. I tested it, and it works out really well. I'm pretty happy with it. This is your alarm set button and your clock set button. This button here is a sleep function. You use this along with the power switch. When the power switch is off and you hit sleep, you can set the sleep mode between, I believe, one minute to an hour and 59 minutes, up to two hours. Pretty nice. Down here, we have some more Chinese writing. I'll decode. Uh, in this position, this band select switch, this is the FM. This is the medium wave. And over here we have eight shortwave bands. I don't know if you can see the little orange indicator, but there's eight of those bands there. And I'll show you those coverages. I think they list them on the back of the radio. Go back to FM. Right hand side of the radio, we have the tuning wheel, which is really easy to use. Here's our on off power switch. It's really nice for the alarm. So you don't, uh, the alarm will go off with the power off, which is nice. Um, you're not wasting any batteries. On the back of the radio, we have our antenna. This antenna extends out to a uh, decent 19 and a half inches and swivel 360 degrees, which is really handy. Excellent for reception. Took this outside, had a really good shortwave session with it. Loved it. Um, FM starts out low at 76, 108. You're going to see a little Easter egg. Um, kind of a cool feature in this radio that um, I'm lucky to get. I'll show that to you. We turn it on. There's medium wave coverage and shortwave coverage. It's not continuous, so it's split up in these bands. It's kind of limited. Starts out at 49 meters. So if you're really into shortwave, you might want a radio that gives you a little bit more than this one. Let's give you, there's the eight bands there if you want to pause and look at those. Um, where you might get a little extra out of it on shortwave three. We'll go through these bands and see where they top out at, where the bottom. Sometimes they're not as advertised and you get a little extra on the tuner. Okay, yeah, cool little kick out stand. Again, $20 radio, pretty cool. And then we have two AA batteries. There's the polarity. Positive to the right hand side there when you take the cover off. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. And then we'll turn this radio on and do a tuning session with it. So FM reception, let's bring this down, down, down. Okay. So I always go over FM reception because I don't really tune FM with this radio because of copyright issues. If I tune too long on a music station, playing music, a certain song, um, it might get banned from certain countries. So we won't do that. We'll just talk about FM reception. Um, on an analog radio, typically, uh, I have a five-star rating. Starts it up fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. A lot of you guys know that already, but if you don't, now you do. Um, typically, most radios run about two and a half stars, an average of 48 stations. This one comes out slightly above average at 51 stations, still in that okay to good range. And the FM selectivity puts it around okay to good also. A few booming stations does keep it sensitivity on the weak side. So that is how that plays out. So okay to good. So right in the middle, which is average with most analog radios. So let's see what else we got to talk about. So that is it there. So let's go ahead and turn the radio on. The fun part, it's a little Easter egg, which I'm going to show you here. I always love these little Easter eggs. I was surprised to find it. I didn't know this radio had it, or maybe I forgot it had it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and turn it on. But only in the 80s near the lake. Northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday night, partly cloudy. So right now I'm picking up uh, near Chicago their weather band on uh, 62. 
the megahertz. So somehow it's getting the bottom of that band like mirrored over to uh, 76 megahertz. Did, I forgot to say that right. 1 to 100, 162 megahertz. <laughs> And what we'll do is we'll, we can check that actually um, with the Skywave over here. The Skywave has a uh, wonderful weather feature, and I can tune to that same station and get the exact frequency on that. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it's giving me channel seven. Channel seven. Okay. So we're getting channel seven. All right, I'll do a little pop up of the exact frequency up here on the bottom. I keep forgetting the exact frequency. But cool, get no weather band, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do a little radio totter bird. And what that is, is a C Crane FM uh, transmitter two hooked up to an iPod playing uh, YouTube sanctioned music. This guy right here, turn it on. And we'll be at 97.7. So let's tune that in, do a little that. I'm going to leave this antenna up because we're going to do some shortwave afterwards. <laughs> you can hear it right here. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's the, I think a single conversion receiver where you can pick up these mirrored images from strong stations nearby. So you can tell it's swamps that have my antenna up here. So let's go ahead and find it. There we go. It gives you a basic idea of the audio quality. If you compare it to my other videos, it gives you a basic idea of what to expect. It's a little on the higher side, of course, but not terrible. It sounds really good with classical music and voice. I'm going to turn my stuff off here. And let's go ahead and hook up the shortwave antenna. What we're going to do, I also wanted to mention, if you notice these lights, I forgot to bring them to your attention. The, um, here, turn it on. Okay, so the top light here is power indicator, and bottom light here is the tuning indicator. So you get a red power and you have the green tuning indicator. I forgot to mention those. I know someone they lit up, I'm like, oh yeah, it's got those lights too. <laughs> you guys are probably like, hey, you missed something. He missed it, well, I remembered. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, put this down, extend this out just a little bit, hook up a wire, like I told you, I have the exact same wire that comes with this radio hooked up to my window on the inside of the blinds. I actually do a pretty good job with shortwave with this. So let's clip this on here. Somebody, anybody could do this in their apartment, any dwelling, which is nice, you don't have to be outside with the wire. And you can sit inside, especially in colder days, uh, and enjoy shortwave. So let's go ahead and go to those bands. So there's medium wave, shortwave, we'll go to the bottom here. 
and we'll hear what we can hear. See how far down it goes, 568. So they're showing on the back here, show wave 1, 595 to 620. So you already you're getting more coverage. Nice. I guess frequency counters are great. Um, rare to see in a radio nowadays. Usually it's DSP or it's uh, you know real simple, but this is great how it's both analog and with a digital display. Run for the hills. <laughs> you can't always <laughs> believe what you hear, right? <laughs> Holy cow. This reception of the Holy Ghost was manifest in speaking in tongues and other power. Speaking in tongues was not mumbo jumbo. Speaking in tongues was a language that you had not studied. God wanted to conquer the whole world. Ability to create a position, um, option to have authority, a way to gain success without Him, without God. And so all of the I think we have four four religious broadcasts here back to back. We dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. Yeah, time was uh, have you caught that? It's at 10:35 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois. It's 
quite a bit going on. So band one, we'll go to band two real quick, and then we'll go medium wave. Let me just go to the bottom of this one, see if anything's on here. Not sure. Quite a bit of coverage, though. Continúa el opositor Carlos Rafael Aguirre Lai, integrante del Movimiento Libertad y Democracia para Cuba, arrestado el lunes en La Habana. El martes, los oficiales de la seguridad del Estado se personaron en su vivienda, según dijo a Rey Martín. I'm actually curious to see what we can hear up here. Time signal, WWV. Right on the money, 10 megahertz. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and disconnect this and we'll put this back down and we'll go to medium wave. I'm planning a uh, daytime and evening medium wave band scan, so we're not going to go real heavy here. We're just going to see what we can pick up a few distance stations with this. I'm going to go up to my usual targets. That's because one of their color specialists helped Chicago. me pick out the perfect color. Let's see if we can get Nashville. WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, about 434 miles away. like WLW Cincinnati sometimes it comes in stronger the loop definitely helps pull it in uh, and in my band scan I'll show this radio with a loop so you can see the differences uh, what was done with the money the stolen money was to build what then was WGN Chicago fire test gold the rest of the phrase and adversity tests the brave Okay, this is Zoomer Radio. This is CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Is pretty much a brokerage equivalent 
of a checking. 750s WSB Atlanta, Georgia. 630 miles. Call today for your free in home WBBM Chicago. At 888 553 5972. That's 888 553. I'm going pretty quick here. WCCO Minneapolis, about 300 miles. Some uh, reversals, and it was funny because you could play the reversal. 840 is WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles. It, it's right there, and it's like, wow, it's like they said it. And it's not about, you know, your ears. Just getting a hint of CJBC, which is French uh, Ontario station. You can pick them up pretty clearly sometimes. I had it clearer earlier. Just at dusk. WCBS out in New York, New York, 750 miles. Okay. 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 KDK Pittsburgh, 450 miles. WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280, 280 miles. WGY. I get these confused. KYW, <laughs> KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for 700 miles. Okay. So let me go to new things. Um, WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. We're going to the top of the dial. Here in a second, KMOX, St. Louis. Somebody's going to buzz through here. WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee. WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. KXCL, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. Go to the top here. Music there, CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. There you go, getting KBGG, 1700 uh, AM, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Okay, we'll call it there. It goes all the way up to 1724. Yeah, because on the back here it's advertised as 1610, I think. Yep, so it goes all the way up there. So there we are. Final thoughts on the DR910. For 20 bucks, really fun entry-level shortwave radio. If you want to give this to somebody uh, as a starter rig, they can have a lot of fun. They get a wire right away. They get headphones right away. They get a shortwave experience that works well. You heard it. Um, a lot of things to listen to. Uh, I'm really impressed with that. Uh, medium wave is, is average. Um, it's not spectacular. FM is decent, like I mentioned. Uh, average for FM. So it, overall, a decent experience for 20 bucks. I'm liking it. Speaker's a little bit on the tinny side, but not bad. Headphones are usable. Uh, it does have a light. does have a sleep function. does have an alarm clock feature. Waking up to radio and a clock feature on there too, which is really nice. Tuning indicator that did help me tune in shortwave stations, as you noticed. Um, power indicator, which is nice, knowing the power's on the radio. Kickout stand, operates on two AA batteries. Yeah, for 20 bucks, 
and it's a digital frequency counter with an analog tuned radio. I love it. I love the smoothness of an analog radio. A lot of people are complaining about analog radios disappearing. Well, get one of these before they're gone because who knows how long they're going to make a radio like this that tunes on a smooth analog circuit with a digital frequency display. So yeah, check out the link below. I'll have that. If you enjoyed the feature presentation, give me a big like. You guys are awesome. Two, if you like Texan radios, check out my Texan playlist over here. Um, tons of Texan radios for you guys to enjoy. And of course, if you're not a member or subscriber, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. And three, of course, comment below. You think about the Texan DR910. Would you add this to your collection? Or would you add a little bit bigger brother here for extra shortwave coverage, the DR920C? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you next episode.